tell you, Mike, I'm excited. It looks like we're back in business, certainly on the Long Island level. You know, the, uh, the Suffolk County Executive put out a directive that sports will be back, in, certainly in Suffolk County, and I believe that similar to what was uh, echoed in, in Nassau County, in Suffolk County, in Section 11, the athletic directors are uh, meeting, I think, literally as we speak to prepare and, and figure out a way to, to move forward with the season. So there's certainly a buzz in Section 11 in Suffolk County and Long Island, and I'm, I'm excited. I think we'll be back in business. Yeah, look, it's 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 good that the world's going to open back up. I'm over here in Detroit. I was just on a, a conference call with uh, a coaches association here in Michigan, and, uh, you know, they're fighting the establishment pretty hard. Um, you know, they're still not uh, approved to have contact in, in any means. Um, so it's exciting for, uh, you know, all the youth on Long Island um, to be able to opportunity and the coaches. I mean, it just, you know, I, I've been tweeting about mental health and, uh, you know, wrestling and, and fitness and, and all these things tie into the mental health as well as the physical health of uh, our youth and our adults. So, you know, uh, no better time than uh, the present to start working out and getting healthy. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I totally agree. I think that's been, um, I, I think more and more it's coming to the forefront, but that's a bit overlooked, mental health, certainly even at the youth, at every level, really, the, this whole process. But look, I have reserved optimism, but it, it does appear that we're going to have a season. I think, um, you know, to use some, some of your, your information you've put in the past, American Ingenuity you found a way that speaks to, to the whole process. And you know, we'll probably have an abbreviated season, and, and I'm excited to, uh, you know, talk about it and, and watch it and be a fan. Yeah, Matty D., who is, uh, you know, our director of research and data, the best in the biz, um, you know, he's plugging some information. He's saying that Governor Cuomo, it was on January 22nd that he got the ball rolling. And, uh, you know, February 1st, we anticipate uh, high contact sports to be able to start. And, um, you know, it's, it's great news. Uh, you know, again, it's uh, overall health for everybody involved. Um, you know, this is what uh, we're passionate about. We know that kids are starting to find wrestling and starting to fall in love with it, girls and boys, just like we are. And, uh, you know, I don't want to sound like everybody else. Enough is enough. Um, you know, people are dying. Uh, we're in a global pandemic and in, in, a, in a piece of history that, you know, is unprecedented. Um, you know, we should step out of the fishbowl a little bit and understand kind of where we are in time and space and, and what's going to be written in the history books um, for what we're living through. Um, but in that said, you know, the ball's going to start rolling pretty, pretty soon. And, um, you know, it's going to be really, really exciting to see, you know, everybody get back to doing what they love. Yeah, yeah, I, I agree. So, yeah, the governor obviously spoke and at the local level in Section 11, the county executive put that out today. And and from there, the, the athletic directors are literally meeting as we speak. So perhaps tomorrow, the next day, we'll have some sort of a plan. And I'm excited about it. So let's get back to work. Let's get back on the mats. And uh, let's go from there. All right. So, Mike, we've been talking a little bit offline about, you know, just a, a roadmap and staying consistent. And uh, I never thought that you would drag, you know, outside world back into virtual and you know, uh, my life slogan is consistency is paramount. I think people would argue with that, uh, whether I live that way or not. But yeah, uh, I certainly firsthand, you know, I, I don't know. We'll, we'll, <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll keep that one offline for now, although that might make it back online if you keep up this path. Uh, I think I think I've been consistently. Uh, You've been consistently inconsistent. I'll give you there that. There you go. That, that, that's exactly right. So in that, um, you're dragging this online. What, what happened to your shirt here? We, we had a whole I got, game plan. Uh, we, we were going to talk to you about your shirt. You I had got, a big box of shirts. And now, I got, now virtually, uh, I got virtually slapped by the producer, but we're going to bring it back. We've had a conversation, and we're going to bring it back. <laughs> between, you know, Mike and I, you know, we, we're wrestlers, but we have a little bit of creativity, so we're going to bring it back. So stay tuned. We're going to rep all kinds of T-shirts. I need you to make now, fun of me and, and have some laughs. I'm excited. So, yeah, Mr. Wanna, Producer, wanna, we're going to bring it back. I want to understand this, Mike. So, you do have, you know, a, a lifetime of T-shirts. You know, in, in your days of being a, a young, skinny, 112-pounder to, yeah. to being a dad of three, married, to being yeah. successful, yeah. you know, donuts yeah. in the morning, yeah, donuts, bonbons, nice. and, and Ben mm -hmm. and Jerry's at night. I, I look. I love uh, half baked. We all can't be skeletal. We can't. We all can't have the the metabolism of seven year old. That's okay. <laughs> I but have I'm, good metabolism. I'm in pretty I good shape. I think you know. I don't know what they say. The camera puts on pounds, but I'm in pretty good shape. So now uh, I want. I want to understand this. Are there shirts that are in your drawer that you pick up and, and you really want to wear, but you're just unable to because you've you've grown 
you've grown out of them. Well, I'm actually, you, 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 you know, you and I, uh, we haven't talked, you know, we talk on the phone, but not virtually. I've, you know, I've, I've shrunk a little, so I actually have access to more shirts, believe it or not. So I think you if do? you ask me, yeah, if you ask, if you asked me that question six months ago, I think I'd be limited. But now that I'm, you know, the incredible shrinking man a little bit, um, certainly have a long well, way to go. I have more shirts, so stay tuned for that. But uh, we'll see. We'll see. A lot, a lot of bant, a lot of fun. What's going on in Detroit today? What is going on? What's what's the tagline in Detroit? Do you even uh, know that you're in Detroit? <laughs> I, I woke up here uh, the other day and uh, I'd been doing some traveling and, and I didn't have my bearings. I, I, I thought that I woke up in Florida for some reason. And, uh, you know, I have family in, in New York that's where I spent my time. It was it was bizarre. Uh, the tagline of Detroit right now is sit and wait for Governor Gretchen Whitmer to open up the state and start getting full contact sports uh, back. And um, hopefully, you know, before too long, Mike, I'm going to be able to go out and get myself you know, a coffee at a coffee shop, sit down, travel mm-hmm. to a like a whole. Because that's what you need, more system. caffeine. That's one thing if I had to think of is more caffeine. How many cups, what's your intake? I don't think I've ever seen you in life or uh, in virtual life without some type of coffee or caffeine object. How many can New tell Ham- the child that's right here? I know it's true. Listen, if I haven't gotten the my, my sample of New Hampshire coffee. I would obviously consume it at a high pace. I've heard it's excellent, really good. And we're excited to, to rep it. But how many cups of coffee a day? Is 10 a lot? Is 10 I don't know. I don't know what the, uh, rec- you know, Maddie D maybe can pull up uh, the recommended dose of, of, of caffeine. I think I uh, have, I have, I have yeah. a large glass. I have a large cup in the morning, right. mid morning, later in the afternoon. And then probably once when I have to deal with you. All right. Well, usually people have a lot more than coffee when they deal with me. So I'm proud of you for being resilient. I'm, I'm proud of you for, for staying the course and look, all joking aside, how excited are we about this project? We're like two kids in a candy store here. I mean, it's 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 certainly exciting, you know, and uh, we have a litany of guests lined up. We're going to take folks on a journey really throughout the country and, and hopefully bring some content and, and some, some information and, and interviews that, you know, a lot of folks wouldn't have access to. Maddie D is telling me that the maximum intake here is 400 milligrams of caffeine. I'm going to bet, and that's three to five cups, so you're a little over it. You're, you know, not only are you overweight to make 49, you're over your caffeine intake, right? Uh, all things in moderation, even moderation, I guess. I, I, don't, I don't know what you want me to say. You know, I, I live my life. I'm, you know, a nearly 40-year-old single man. And, yeah. uh, you know, I'm still li- living. I'm still breathing. Uh, so I'm going to continue uh, the course that I'm going. And if I happen to get in your way and it's a problem, let me know. Otherwise, I'll, I'll just keep drinking my coffee yeah. and uh, hope it doesn't affect me. I, I have one more question, <laughs> and we only have a little bit of time. Do you ye- use any kind of hair coloring products or anything for the beard? Because I notice not only do I have more hair, it's I have more color. And I don't use any products. I maybe, you know, we should put some uniform. We have these new logos. We look, well, look, I mean, we it, look good. Yeah, look, I mean, it, it's a lot can, easier. You got a fat, a lot more fat surface area in right, your face right, right, to get right. to get color than I do right. on the sun. So right, you know, right. just keep that in in mind. Do you have Amazon? Pr- do you have Amazon Prime? Do, do you even get Amazon in, in where you live? In, or no? If you do, be on the lookout. Hair color <laughs> from them. All right. Look, that's a wrap. Hopefully, we have wrestling back. Stay tuned to uh, enjoy my t-shirt collection and stay tuned for the journey. That's a wrap. See you.